Hello Virgo, how are you guys doing? Oh, welcome into this reading. It is about should you stay or should you go? So we're going to basically look at what would happen if you stay and what spirit guides have got to say and then what would happen if you go and try to get an idea of what would be the best for you. Um, let's see what will come in. Let's clear the space of any previous readings that I've done on this table and energies that are around here and then send good vibes out to you guys during the reading. By the way, guys, my personal readings are open again and I have got them marked down for discount because I'm celebrating them being open. Open. I've only got 10 spots available at the time of this reading up until the end of June. They are getting booked pretty quickly. So if you want to check that out, there's a link in the description box below. But let's see if you stay, if you go. Let's have a look. We'll turn that one over a little bit later to see what would happen there. If you stay, let's see. Page of air. Hmm, interesting. Um, I'll read what it says there. If the card will stand, let's see. Yes, stand. Okay, page of air is the page of swords energy. And it says logical, honest, impulsive, and curious. Um, this is different. This is a different reading than the others I've picked up on. Challenging information. Okay, so there could be something here that I feel like this could be a relationship. It could even be something work-related or friendship, family-related as well. It depends because it's a general reading. You're going to put it to where it resonates with you. And I feel like something has happened where you found something out that makes you go, should I leave? Should I go? Because I don't know if I should keep this connection going, whatever it is. Um, it says a delay or a change to plans. That is the challenging information. You have found out something that's causing you to go, what? I've got to do what? And it may be like something has been put off or somebody caused something not to happen. Or they're telling you, I can't do this right now. And you're just like, wow. They did it in a very, because it says truth delivered without tact. So they did it in a very weird way. Like they almost like don't care. It's almost like, you you know, I'm just imagining something like somebody said, oh, we are, I'm going to go on a date with you. Something as simple as that. It can be something as simple as that. It's like, we're going out this weekend. We're going on a date. And they just WhatsApp you and say, sorry, I can't make it anymore. Or sorry boom put the phone down and then they just leave you on scene <laughs> somebody commented below in one of the comments they left me on scene i'm like what don't you hate when people do that don't leave people on scene okay it's horrible i think i did it once to one of my one of my clients by accident i get like so many emails coming in and i'm like oh gosh afterwards I, i'm like running back after people but when it's a relationship don't leave people on scene Never, unless you don't want a relationship anymore. I'm just saying. Um, yeah, I had my rant. Thank you. Um, so this is definitely somebody coming in here saying something that they should absolutely have not have said. Uh, challenging times here. Yeah, choose your battles. It's seven of wands energy. I'm feeling like there's a person you're dealing with. They're restricting the growth of this relationship. I feel like, or if it is, it's a specific person doing this if it's a work-related situation it's one person that's causing all the drama okay they can even be like the the manager or the ringleader of people that it's causing if it is a family related or friend related it's one person that's doing something that's jealous i'm going to tell you straight especially if this is not a relationship if it's something else besides a relationship i pick up on total jealousy total jealousy and i know a lot of you guys are going yeah Yes, I believe you. I pick it up as well. Um, it says choose your battle, seven of wands. You always have to defend yourself against this person. It's like around them, you have to watch your step. Because it's, it's like they, they keep looking for things to stop your growth or prevent you from doing well or make it more difficult for you. If this is a relationship, there's a lot of drama here with the seven of wands. It's always facing something or the other. If it's not this, it's that. If it's not that, it's this. It's like you're always having to go fix it. There's always... A the thing is, I feel like if it's a relationship, they're doing this on purpose here with the Eight of Swords being here, the helpless and hopeless. They don't really want this relationship to become... We're moving in together, we're getting married, we're having kids, we're sitting down, white picket fence, the works. 
the cat and the dog, all that. They don't want that. They kind of like want to keep this on a casual level. So anytime when things start going too smooth, they will cause something to happen. It can even be on an a, a, a unconscious level that they're doing this. They just don't want to be in a relationship that's stable. They're always making drama so that it's always, it almost feels like every time you back at the page energy, it's like it never gets to the knight and the queen and the king. It never grows. It's always like, at the beginning and then we grow again something happens we have a problem back at the beginning it never goes anywhere and if this is work related as well i feel like there is a little a person there that is causing a bit of issues there um you've got the knight of cups energy rocking up and the five of pentacles it's the thing is you you may for, for a person i feel like you love them there's the knight of cups energy but there's that five of pentacles next to the knight of cups there is the problem um that is what the risk is here I feel like you do have offered this person your love there with the Knight of Cups and the way that they're behaving can cause you to go, do I, do I have to walk away from this with the Five of Pentacles? Are we heading for a breakup because of this behavior? And if this is like a work family related situation or friend related situation, um, it's like your heart is in that, it's, if it's a job that you're doing or, a, or wherever you're working, you love what you do. You love and you're very good at what you do. You give it your all. Um, but you, you're you wondering, because of the two cards that are coming up on top here, do I have to step out of the situation and have a new start? Um, this is something also that you're thinking about so much. It's so much in your mind. I feel like you think often, should I leave? Should I leave? Should I leave? Because of what is happening. Even though you know my heart is there, I really want this to work kind of energy. But because of the actions and the behaviors of one person, you're going... It may not with the Five of Pentacles. The risk of um, something coming to an end here. Let's see if you had to leave. I'm so curious. Oh, wow. 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 The Empress comes up here. Wow. You know, one of the things with the Empress energy, sometimes the Empress energy can indicate the birth of a child. And I kind of got this vibe when I turned the card. Not the birth of a child, maybe even. For a relationship, if you're feeling like that white picket fence with the children and the two dogs and the one cat running around, you know, um, you would actually be leaving something that's very restricted and not going there and actually find it somewhere in the future. And if this is like a work-related situation, this is like literally you stepping into something much better. You know what I'm going, you know where I'm going with this. Um, the Archangel Gabriel is in such a beautiful energy as well. Listen to this lavish abundance. Hello, run, I say, run there. <laughs> um, give birth to your dreams and nurturing yourself and others. Wherever you are going here, if you had to step out of the situation, you're going to a place with someone out there who's not this person. Someone that's very nurturing and wants to live a life that's abundant. Remember, abundance is not just about the money. Abundance is about the experiences that we have. Abundance is about the, the, the life that we live. Um, we go out, we enjoy, we travel, we um, spend quality moments together. It's an abundance of love, an abundance of experience, an abundance of growth all happening in the future. Wow. And it's literally a dream that you want because it says give birth to your dreams. Let's have a look and see. Hierophant energy. Wow. And challenging times. You've got to come out of it. You've got to get into, out of your head here. Challenging times is going to be about your thoughts here. It talks about if you, stay, if you want this in your future, it's five of one's energy. So challenging times, you see the light shining around the man's head there. It's about what happens. It depends on what's going on in the reading. But this is something that you're going to have to think about and make a decision about. It involves fear as well. Because the thing is with the fire energy of the wands can indicate, you know, we're scared to get burned. We're also scared of the unknown. We don't know what tomorrow looks like. I mean, you're listening to me talking about this, but you don't see it yet. And that requires a level of trust and kind of like putting down your guard to the universe and not having the stability and what you know as fact, you know, which may not be so good, but sometimes the not so good is totally better than the total unknown. And that is going to require you to be in this hierophant energy. Hierophant energy is also Taurus's energy as well. It is a card. It is a meaning. The meaning of this card is 
trusting the universe. It is a card of wisdom. It is a card of, of understanding. It's a card of learning. Even though it says teach, it's because life is teaching you something you see. This is so interesting. My goodness. You know, the mystery of life it's so deeper than what we know. It's, it's, everything is mystery. Everything is a miracle. Everything that is happening and that is unfolding is part of a greater picture that we cannot see. And sometimes we have to become the wisdom. We have to become the spiritual person. We have to become the wise one. And almost like trust that unfolding of life kind of energy. So let's go a little bit deeper. Let's see what Spirit Guide is saying. They're like literally going, you're going to have to make a decision here. Wow. Wow. Because there's a wheel of fortune waiting for you in your north node. This is north node opening. There is a portal opening for you. It is going to be happening just around about the 10th of um, June when the solar eclipse happens in Gemini and that is all about making decisions. Do you stay? Do you go? You have to make a decision because what is happening here, there is a fated event coming in for you. Sometimes I did speak about children. When children are born, they are born to a specific mother and father and it's no chance. Everything is planned to beyond the understanding of human mind. There is a moment, a time, a date, a second a child comes into this life. Even the start of a relationship, everything is perfectly aligned. I, you know, the intelligence behind everything is quite astounding. Um, with this energy, there could even be a child that is trying to come into your world. And it has to happen at a specific time. And that can be why you are being forced almost like to make this decision. So let's see what Spirit Guide has got to say. Wheel of Fortune, the wheel is turning. Time is happening now. Let's see. Wow. Be strong, guys. The, night, the King of Pentacles comes in here. They're going, you need to know one thing. And you need to know that you're not here. Constantly. Always wondering, are, are we moving forward? Always always being unstable. The King of Pentacles is in the upright position. That's the King of stability. That's the King of feeling secure. That's the King of feeling like you're in the right place at the right time. That's the King where you don't feel this unstable vibe coming through here. The, if this is like a work-related situation, it will be extremely positive for you. It will even be a place possibly, I'm just saying, where you have a chance of actually, especially work-related, you can literally get promotions here where you end up being the person in charge kind of vibe because he has a page and there's the knight and it just jumps to this king. It would be so good for you. Lavish abundance. If this is relationship, it won't be anything like the five of pentacles at all. It's going to be the king of pentacles, the stability, the growth. And I'm looking at all the grapes that are growing behind the king of pentacles, the abundance. There we go, guys. Thank you so much for coming in. I'm wishing you all the best moving forward. Bye.